Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I am Brian and I want to show you a quick little gizmo that I picked up for my truck camper that I don't know if you guys follow along my main camping channel, but the last video I posted, I mentioned that I wanted to run a solar panel off of my 12.8 volt battery that I was using to run my air conditioning unit. However, the spot that I was at was pretty shady and I didn't get a chance to use it, but I want to show you folks how you can hook up very easily a foldable slash portable solar panel directly to a battery. So you cannot just hook up one of these little 100 watt, 200 watt solar panels directly to a, a, a battery or you will fry it because there is no charge controller in between the battery and the solar panel. Pretty much all of these batteries do have a BMS, but you still need to put a solar charge controller in between the two. Now, typically, if you're going to be setting up a solar panel to charge a battery, you're going to be using some type of solar charge controller like this that requires multiple inputs and outputs to connect your solar panel in and then out to your battery. And this really isn't exactly portable. And you again, you have to have something like that to charge a battery. And this is just a little 50 amp hour battery that I have because it's easier for this video. But the premise is the same for a 400 amp hour battery or whatever the case is. But this little guy right here is from Batteria and it is an inline solar charge controller, which kind of eliminates the need for having one of these big old solar charge controllers. If you're just going out for a weekend and you don't have a, a whole setup to use this, you simply plug in your solar panel to one side and then the other side hooks directly to the battery. Now this little guy right here can work on 12 to 24 volt batteries and the max that this can run on a 12 volt system is 300 watts from a solar panel or 600 watts from a 24 volt panel to a 24 volt battery. But this just makes it really, really, really super simple to bring this along with you in a battery and a solar panel. I did have to go buy a couple of different cables to make this thing all work. So for me, at least, there was a, a few extra things that I had to buy to make this thing work. And one of them is this cable right here, which has got two ring terminals on the end. It's got an inline fuse to an SAE connector. And this inline charge controller comes with two SAE connections pre-installed. So in order to hook this up to the battery, I just simply go on the output side and so to hook this thing up to the battery first, you always want to hook up your battery before you hook up your solar panel, by the way, but it's got an input and an output side, okay? So the output is outputting to the battery and the input is going to be the input from the solar. So on the output side, with, which already has the pre-installed SAE connection, I'm just going to plug this in just like so. So what that's going to leave me are these two ring terminals that I'm going to attach directly to this battery and then I'll show you folks how to hook up the solar panel. So it really doesn't get any easier. You've got your red to your positive and your black to your negative. That's it. So you can see this thing lights up as soon as you connect it to the battery. Now, right now it's showing gel. So this little solar charge controller can charge gel, AGM, or LiPo4. I need to go into the settings and change it to LiPo4 since this is a LiPo4 battery, but you can see it shows the voltage and it's actually gonna show the amperage, get it back on. Once I hook up a solar panel, we can kind of monitor it. And this thing has a Bluetooth and an app. So I can actually download the Charge 2.0 app and I can go in and see the exact wattage that my solar panel is inputting into this battery. So overall, pretty slick little deal. It is a 20 amp max charge controller, but for something portable, I think this is more than enough to take with you on a quick weekend trip. But let me get in here and change to LiPo4. So if you press and hold the set and enter button, the gel light starts blinking and we're just gonna press it again, switches to AGM, switch it again, changes to LiPo4 and that's it. And now we are set for a 12 volt LiPo4 charge controller. Now, this thing comes also default with a boost charge of 14.4 volts. So you can go in and actually change that too. I know some people like to boost charge their LiPo4s at 14.6 or even 14.8 to make sure that all the cells are balanced. However, for this little demonstration, I'm just gonna keep it at 14.4 volts. Just know that you can go in and change the charging parameters 
on this little guy right here. All right, so that is as simple as hooking this up to the battery that there is. There's nothing else to it. Now that leaves you with an, one, one open end with an SAE connection. So depending on your application, some solar panels have MC4 connectors, some have XT60s, some have Andersons. Just check to see what type of connection your solar panel has, and you can go to Amazon and type in SAE2 XT60 or SAE2 MC4. They have all different kinds of connection cables to go from your solar panel to the opposite end of this charge controller. For my case, it is SAE to Anderson connection, and I've got that cable already, but I'm gonna take you folks outside. All right, so I got my little 200 watt solar panel out here in the driveway, got the battery kind of hiding underneath the shade. And again, it is hooked up to the input side of this solar charge controller. Now, my particular solar panel comes pre-installed with this DC cable, and it also came with this adapter for many, many different kinds of input connections. And since this actually has an Anderson connection right here, this is one of the things I actually made this, but you can buy these on Amazon, but it is an SAE to Anderson connection. And I'm just gonna plug the SAE into the input side, and then I'm gonna use the Anderson input right here to the solar panel. And now we are connected we are gonna start charging. Now, it is a pretty hazy day, so this isn't really a test on <laughs> how well the solar panel works, but let me pull up the app and kind of show you folks. So right now, you can't see it right now, but I'm inputting seven and a half amps from the solar panel. But let's go inside where there's shade and I'll show you the app. Okay, we're back in the shade and believe it or not, it's only around 79 degrees here in Texas right now. So I think we're over the curve of the incredible intense heat wave. But anyway, I'm gonna go into the Charge 2.0 app and we're gonna locate that battery charge controller. Hit connect. And you can see right here, the battery is inputting, the battery is receiving eight and a half, 8.6 amps from that solar panel or 116 watts. So you can sit and actually monitor this. I don't necessarily trust the battery state of charge on some of these things, but it at least shows the voltage. The solar input is 17.9 volts coming from kind of a very hazy, cloudy kind of type day out here. But you can still monitor the amount of watts because a lot of people that don't know a whole lot about solar, they think in terms of watts, which honestly I do too. So I can look at this and say, okay, I'm getting 110 watts put into my battery because most of us talk in terms of watts. Volts and amps, you gotta kinda do a little bit of math. So it's easier for me to talk watts. And you can actually go into the historical uh, data. Obviously I haven't really ran this very much, but you can actually see your day by day usage from that solar charge controller. And you can actually go also into the parameter settings here and change your settings, which is a little bit easier than having to do it on that battery uh, solar charge controller by itself. So you can get into the app and do it, and it's just a lot easier. And we're, and we're back. Slight technical difficulties with the battery, but I think you get the gist of this video, and that is what this thing is capable of, and I haven't even pulled off the paper. There we go. Now she's pretty, but Gang, this is just something that's really, really simple to use, and you don't have to go through all the trouble of hooking up an MPPT charge controller. Now, these things go, I think this was around 70 bucks, and they're typically below 80, and I'm, there's sales on these type of things all the time, but I'll leave a link for this specific one that I got here in the video description. But overall, just very simple to use, very user-friendly, and having that Bluetooth app is really beneficial so you can check out the current situation of your battery and how many watts you're actually putting into your battery just simply from your phone. It's just great. It's perfect. Super simple and it works. So I do like it. And uh, that's going to be it for this review on this Batteria inline charge controller, guys. So until next time, see you soon. Take care.